Good morning. Happy Tuesday. <laughs> I'm back home for literally 24 hours. Um, heading back to the beach today. I'm so unprepared right now. My house is a 100% complete wreck. <sighs> But it's got to look better, before, I mean, it's got to look worse before it looks better, right? So, I figured, let me come on and do my makeup and say hello. And remind you all that um, our skincare, a whole bunch of our skincare line is 20% off which is pretty amazing. I'm literally, I have one appointment this morning and I'm coming back home, packing, repacking my car, the dog, and heading back to the beach. Um, hopefully, hopefully the contractor will be done here this week. So when I come back after Memorial Day, my house will be ready. And when I say ready, I'm going to, I'm selling my house, but it needs a little bit of work. Like my ceiling in here was a wreck before. So I had him, you know what I'm doing? I'm basically having him, I gave him a punch list item. So I, I'm having him do like a ton of little picky stuff that has bothered me over the years and that I don't want any buyers to come in here and be like, oh, look, you know, there's an imperfection in the wall. You know, take $10,000 off for that. Everyone's been telling me that that's not the way the market is right now. But honestly, I have been thinking about selling my house for many years now. I've been divorced since 2014 and I got the house in the divorce and it's just way too big for me. It's in Huntington Valley. It's in a great school district, um, which is why we bought here, but it's big. It's four bedrooms and three baths and it's just me and the dog. So, I need to downsize. I need to downsize for space and I need to downsize for maintenance. So while the contractor has been here these past couple of weeks, I've been staying at the shore. So I don't know if everyone knows, but I work from home. I work, it's really for, but I'm gonna say with my ex-husband. He got the business in the divorce and I got to keep my job, which is what I wanted. That was like, I didn't want the business. I don't want anything to do with the business as far as ownership. Um, so I just want to keep my job. And that might seem re really like narrow minded, but I'm a pretty smart girl and I know a good thing when I see one. And I've got a lot of perks keeping my job and working with my ex-husband. So I have a home office here. We have an office somewhere else in Bella Kenwood. Um, so we never worked elbow to elbow, even when we were married. So I can work while I'm at the beach. So that's what I've been doing the last three weeks. My ex-husband told me the contractor said it would take him a week. And I was like, there's no way. There's no way it's going to take him a week to do everything I gave him on the list. And here we are three weeks later and the list is not done. And my house is a pile of dust, which is expected, right? I mean, you have work done at your house with drywall and spackling and painting and woodwork and stuff like that. So I did expect to come home to a lot of dust when I came home yesterday. Um, 
yes, it's been driving me crazy that I've been here since yesterday and I um, didn't clean because he's coming back tomorrow. And what's the point of cleaning right now when he's just going to continue to make a mess, right? I'm going to take this down so <sighs> my hair is halfway decent. Um, I did vacuum just because I felt like every time I walked on the carpet, like dust was coming up. It probably wasn't. It's probably just my imagination, but I don't care. I vacuumed. So that's the story. I am so ready to sell this house. It was, um, I, I was not ready years and years and years ago. Like when I first got divorced, emotionally, I mean, I was not ready. Um, and I'm sure that like the day that I move out, I will be emotional, but I'm so ready not to have to worry about, you know, different kinds of light bulbs for the outside front of the house, for the back of the house, around the pool, the inside, paying the landscaper, paying the pool guy. <sighs> I'm ready to simplify. Let's put it that way. So once he is done, like I said, hopefully this week, um, I will come back and I will start cleaning like thoroughly. It's going to probably take me at least a week or two to clean. And then we'll get pictures taken for the listing, and then we'll get it listed. So I hope to have it listed. I wanted to have it listed by the end of May, which is next week, and that's not going to happen. Um, so... At this point, I am hoping to have it listed by the middle of June. My son got his real estate license and so he's going to list it for me. And it's a really good neighborhood, so I hope I'm not being um, too optimistic. But I think it will sell quickly. Houses in this neighborhood have been selling quickly. And I know interest rates are going up. Which is why I just really want to get it sold before it gets, they get too high. Plus, I had carpets installed <laughs> at the beach while I was there a week ago. So I ran to the beach to get away from construction so I could work. And honestly, Chooch, my dog, in case anyone doesn't know who Chooch is, um, he doesn't do well with like loud noises and stuff. And so that's another reason that I couldn't be here while the contractor is here working. I mean, those loud noises, it's hard for me to work with those loud noises, but it's also like really bad for him, really bad for the dog. So I, um, I ran to the beach and then I decided to get new carpets at the beach. And then I usually would come home while that was being done, but I couldn't because <laughs> there was a contractor here. So I kind of boxed, my, boxed myself into a corner. And honestly, getting those carpets installed, I mean, it was only a one day job for them. It's a small condo. Um, but it was a lot of work for me. So I had to take everything off the floor. Not like the big furniture. They said that they would do the big furniture, which they did, but like, Anything that was on top of something that they had to move is what I had to move. And since I was having the closets carpeted too, I had to empty the closets, anything off the floor. 
So that was three closets. And then because they were going to be moving the beds, I didn't want them to have to worry about like my bedding on the three beds. So I took off the bedding. Like, and where do you put all this stuff? So most of the stuff I put out on my like porch at the condo and the bedding, I put in the tub because it's only one bathroom. And I didn't want to put a lot of stuff in the bathroom in case they needed to use it, you know? So I put the bedding from the two twin beds and my queen bed, I folded it up and I put it all in the bathtub <laughs> while they were there. Then when they were done, I had to clean the whole condo because it created so much dust because the old carpets were so old and disgusting. I'm assuming that's what happened. That's where all that dust came from. So I, I, I did that too. <laughs> I figured, sure, I'm a hostage here because my house at home was having um, work done to it. So why not have work done at the beach too? But I have to tell you, I mean, I know I posted the pictures. I'm just loving the new carpet. I don't know if it's because the old carpet was so disgusting. I mean, it was the carpet that I inherited when I bought the place. It was the carpet that was down and I hadn't changed it. So I don't know how old that carpet was. I bought the place in 2014 and it was not in good shape then. So I am really happy <laughs> to be rid of that carpet for sure. Okay. I'm going to put a little bit of illuminator on. I know I haven't like said one thing. I haven't told you one thing that I'm doing. I feel like most of you know. Most of you know by now. Oh, I forgot to contour my nose. I hate contouring my nose after I've put my eyeshadow on because I feel like it messes it up. I did it really light so I wouldn't have to blend so much. You can see a line there, do you? No. Well, my red nose is really shining through today, though. Okay. Um, I do want to go in with a tiny little bit more brightener. I feel like, see that? I feel like that need, that area needs to be brightened a little bit more. Try and stay away from that bag area. Yeah, that's brighter, right? So if you, getting back to the skincare, if you've never tried our skincare, now is a perfect time to try it. I mean, I've been using Saint for four years. I've been an artist for over two, and I've never seen the skincare go on sale like this. I, seriously, I'm 100% telling you the truth. So I'm going to stock up. I, of course, my big brush is still down at the beach. All right, I'm just going to spray my face. why I don't like doing it this way. It's like over, I do overkill when I spray it directly onto my face. Um, while that's drying, I'm just going to do my mascara and tell you about the skincare. So, um, it's not all of it, but I would highly recommend getting the collection because it comes with our cream, which is our moisturizer. And two other products, I believe two or three other products. Um, 
and it's a good way to try it. I swear our skincare has significantly reduced the pores on my face, which I'll show you in a minute. Because right now it's all wet and shiny from the setting spray. So if anyone has any questions about anything, crap, it can even be about my carpets at the beach. I don't care. Just reach out to me or comment below. But really, if you have a question about anything synced, just ask me. I'd be more than happy to answer questions. All right, second mascara for the bottom. Now I am going to double set my makeup. If you're new here, cream makeup must be set, must. It will transfer off your face if you do not set it. And I wanna show you something when I'm done. I just made a boo-boo there with my mascara. I'm gonna leave it there for now. I'm gonna let it dry. This is a little trick. It's not gonna be your tip Tuesday. I didn't know I was gonna do this. But if you ever get mascara on, especially like up here, if you've um, already done your eyes and you get the black mascara up there, I'm gonna show you a little trick to get rid of it without ruining your makeup, having to redo it, without getting a black streak from trying to wipe it off. I have something in my eye per usual. You know what, my face still isn't dry, so just for shits and giggles, shouldn't be cursing. I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do my lips. I'm gonna line them with my contour. Oh, and just in case you are new, this is my makeup. It's all in one compact. I've got a bunch in here. You don't need this much, but all these shades that I have in my compact are custom to me. It's cream. It's buildable, and the idea is to have as much in your compact as possible so that you're not carrying around a big makeup bag like this. Spending time looking through that makeup bag, trying to, oh, here's my pan, could have used that. Forgot, forgot I had that. Um, spending time, wasting time, let's put it that way, looking through your bag, trying to find the product that you are looking for. So the only thing that I used that wasn't in my compact to do my whole face today was my mascara, we don't sell mascara, and my setting spray, and of course my brushes. Everything else that I used, even when I filled in my brows, I used Trust, eyeshadow right here. So I didn't need an eyebrow pencil. When I lined underneath my eyes, I used another eyeshadow. I used right here, Philly. So I didn't need an eyebrow, I mean a, a liner, an eyeliner. So now I just line my lips with my contour so I don't need a lip pencil. So now I'm just gonna go in and this is another, this is a different lip and cheek than what I put on my cheeks. I think I'm gonna go back and touch up my cheeks. Cause I really didn't put a lot on. That's called nude, which I love. It's like my go-to. And these are some of our lip and cheeks. I'm going to, <sighs> you know what? Let's go into Rosewood. A 
rosewood with a little bit of pink grapefruit. <laughs> That's another great thing about this makeup is that you can customize your colors. You can blend lip and cheek colors to get whatever shade you're looking for. I mean, look at that, right? Okay, so now I'm shiny from that setting spray, which they say makes you dewy, but I'm 56 years old and I don't do dewy because to me, it just makes me look shiny or sweaty. So I like to go in after I'm done. So my makeup is already set. So think of the setting spray that I used um, as like a barrier. So I put my makeup on, I set it with the setting spray. And so now it won't transfer off. But like I said, any setting spray will give you like a, a shine, a dewiness. And I don't mind that in some places on my face, but like, I don't like it here. So that's where I'll go in with a setting powder and take that shine away. Up here between my eyebrows on my forehead, I don't like the shine. And then down here, I don't like the shine. And down here, across my chin. Okay, let me check out my mirror over here. Looks good. Let me just do a little more. See how the shine went away? That's what I was looking for. So I like my makeup more mattified. Think of Adele. Adele has very matte makeup. J-Lo has like very dewy, shiny makeup. I'm more Adele <laughs> and less J-Lo. Definitely. So that's it. That is my final. Um, I can always go in and zhuzh something up somewhere, but... I, like I said, I have one appointment in an hour and then I'm packing up the car and heading back down to Brigantine so that the contractor can come back in and finish so that I can finally start cleaning in here and get this house on the market. If I think it's bad now, <laughs> wait until the house sells and I have to empty this house by myself and I've lived here for 22 years no longer than that 24 years it's gonna be a huge undertaking oh god bless me um all right ladies so if you have any questions just reach out if you want to be color matched and that means you know, you fill out my color match form and I tell you which shades are best for you. Um, it's free, no obligation. I will put my color match form on here after I post this. When I, after the live is done, I'll post it and I'll put my color match link. Um, fill it out, no obligation, no purchase necessary. If you don't want to buy anything, but that way, at least you'll know what your saint shades are so that if you do, um, there's no guessing. We have a 30 day return policy and a 30 day exchange policy. Um, shipping is free. If you spend more than $50, there is no minimums as far as what you buy. You, if you want this $14 tin, then you buy this $14 tin. There's no like auto ships, auto renewals, nothing like that. So you buy what you want, when you want it. And if you don't spend $50, then shipping is $4.95. And that's fairly new with us. It was always free shipping, only because it's a sign of the times. Everything has gone up and we have not increased the prices of our makeup. Um, like I said, the skincare is on sale. So that's quite amazing. Um, and also, um, you can, you get credits for a compact, uh, based on how many tins you buy. So these are the tins. They pop out. The makeup pops out and it goes into this magnetized compact because the tins are metal. So see how I'm running a little bit low on this? When I need to replace this, I will pop it out, buy a new one, and put it in there. And then, presto magico, I 
don't have any waste. I didn't spend any time looking through this makeup bag. All of my makeup was in one place and it's easy. It's on the go. I could do this makeup on the bus, in my car, at a baseball game. Um, it's um, flyer friendly. So if you travel a lot, uh, you can carry this makeup on with you because it's not liquid. It's cream. And then our eyeshadows are powders. So the only regret that I have in with Saint is that I waited two years to become an artist. I used the makeup for about 18 months before I started to think about becoming an artist. And that's a, that's a discussion for another day, but I wish I would have done it because I've been doing it now for two years. And had I have jumped in with both feet, um, when I first became a customer, I would have been doing it for four years. So that's my only regret. It's the only makeup I use. Um, I just, I just love it. And like I said, with, a, with our 30 day return and our 30 day exchange policy, it's a no brainer to try it. It really, really is. And if you don't want to do a color match, and I understand that because this is the internet and I'm just some woman from Pennsylvania talking to you and you don't want to fill out my color match form. I get it. I mean, I'm hesitant to give people my information as well. It doesn't go past me. Um, and it's not, that's not lost on me. So my website, you can go in and find your own shade if you don't want to do a color match, which is also a pretty new thing with Saint. And it's pretty spot on. So you go into collections, you go to my website, which I'll post here too. You go into collections and there's a little, um, like clickable link there that says find my shade. And then it will bring up a whole bunch of pictures and you find the shade that most closely resembles your own shade. So you're basically color matching yourself. Um, sorry, my son was calling. <laughs> um, and once you find your shade, they're, they're, they're called levels, levels one to level eight. Um, you can go in and say, okay, I want this collection in my level, which let's just say as an example, I'm a level three or a level four. You click on that and it will pre-populate a compact for you with, with your shades. I mean, so it just, all you have to do is go onto the website, go to collections, click find my shade, find your level, click that, and it will it will bring up all these shades for you, whichever will most closely match you. You just add it to your cart. It's as simple as that. So, but if you don't wanna do that, that's what the color match is for. So, I hope you all have a great day. Happy Tuesday. I'm gonna post um, a Tip Tuesday for you, and it's all about our Perfector sponge, which mine has to be cleaned. Um, and, why it's really important to have one of these little babies, especially if you're like myself, mature skin, I'm 56, to get into these little corners and stuff like that. So look out for the Tip Tuesday that has to do about the Perfector sponge. So I will see you all again soon. If you have any questions, just reach out to me. All right. Have a great day.